Hi YouTubers! Today is the 23rd of April and that means it is World Beer Day. So I'm going to show you some of the beers and some of the glasses I will use in these next coming days. I won't be smoking them all today. I won't be smoking them at all, I will be drinking them. I'm smoking a pipe. A small Boots Chacun I got from my father. And here are some of the beers and what they mean to me. The first is a Berliner Weisse, a Berlin white beer. <clears throat> This is made not only with yeast, but some bacteria are added too that produce lactic acid. This makes it a very light, a little bit sour tasting beer for the summer. I come from Berlin, so this is a natural choice for me. The second beer is um, a Andexer Hell. This is a Bavarian lager beer from the monastery of Andex. This is a beer my grandfather drank every day. He lived near Munich and we often went to Andex to eat there to have a good time to drink some of the very good beer there. So this is a beer that um, has a lot of very fond memories attached to it. Then there is a Lambic, a Heuse beer from Belgium. This is a speciality. It is brewed with um, spontaneous fermentation so they don't add any yeast, they just leave it to stand open. And if you do this in the right region of Belgium at the right time of the year, a very tasty beer results from it. Then one of my favorite beers, and I don't think much has to be said about it, is Guinness Extra Stout. Very tasty, very tasty. <clears throat> and to this beer I also have the fitting glass. I acquired this in Frankfurt in the year that Ireland was the um, featured land of the Frankfurt Book Fair. Um, I was at a reading of Seamus Heaney with my mother. Seamus Heaney read his poems and Leon O'Flynn played the Eulean bagpipes. And of course, we drank Guinness. Now, before I show you the last beer, some more glasses. This is a rather normal model, but it is a glass from Myanmar, where I was in January. Myanmar beer is a very good beer, a very good lager beer. Sadly, it's not available in Europe. Then to remember my other grandfather, I have this Stein from Frankenthal. He lived in Frankenthal for many years and then in Ludwigshafen and this is one of his steins that I got after his death. Here in Wuppertal beer was also brewed. One of the breweries in Wuppertal was Bremme. This is a glass for a, um, oh I don't know how they call it in English, it's a beer where the yeast um, settles on the top of the 
Ward and doesn't sink to the bottom. Bremme Ober. A little bit like the wheat beers that are brewed in Bavaria. And then <coughs> this will come in handy when Borussia Dortmund wins the German football championship. And last but not least, a very special beer glass that was um, that bears the coat of arms of my student fraternity in Heidelberg. It was given to me by a dear friend with a dedication on the inside, talking about the freedom of the student. And then we come to the last beer and a true fan will have to taste it someday. Duff beer. I guess you don't get drunk, you get humorized. So these are the beers I will drink in the next days. I will be putting up this video on Easter. I hope you have a good time. See you again soon. Bye. A long time ago, way back in history, when all there was to drink was nothing but cups of tea, along came a man by the name of Charlie Mops, and he invented a wonderful drink, and he made it out of hops. He must have been an admiral or a sultan or a king, and to his praises we shall always sing. Look what he has done for us, he's filled us up with cheer. The Lord bless Charlie Mops, the man who invented beer, 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 tiddly beer, beer, beer. The Curtis Bar, the James's Pub, the hole in the wall as well. One thing you can be sure of, it's Charlie's beer they sell. So all you lads and lasses, 11 o'clock you stop. For five short seconds, remember Charlie Mops. One, two, three, four. Five. Hey, he must have been an admiral or a sultan or a king And to his praises we shall always sing Look what he has done for us, he's filled us up with cheer The Lord bless Charlie Mox, the man who invented beer Beer, beer, tiddly beer, beer, beer A barrel of malt, a bushel of hops, you stir it with the stick The kind of lubrication to make your engine tick Forty pints of wallop a day will keep away the quacks It's only eight pence halfpenny and one and six in tax One, two, three, four, five Hey, he must have been an admiral or a sultan or a king And to his praises we shall always sing Look what he has done for us, he's filled us up with cheer The Lord bless Charlie Mops, the man who invented beer Beer, beer, tiddly beer, beer, beer The Lord bless Charlie Mops